um hello guys uh, today we will see how to um create a bootable uh, windows 10 um pen drive uh, from linux so as we know uh, for windows we can do this easily with using uh, rufus and other tools like rufus but uh, for linux uh, there is no tool like rufus so um today i'll show you how you can create a bootable drive from the windows 10 iso um i'm going to use the windows 10 um you can do the same with uh, windows 11 iso as well so what you need to do is you first need to have the iso so we'll just uh, get the iso we'll just type iso here and uh, the first thing will pop up um now we'll select um multi edition we'll press confirm then uh, we will um, choose this uh, US English US because of the US layout uh, for keyboard layout so I'll just press OK and uh, now just we need to press this if you press this it will download so if you press this it is downloading but I already have the ISO so I will not uh, download it again as it is 5.5 GB um, so I already have the ISO I'll just um, it is around 5.5 GB yeah so what uh, first we need to have the ISO and now as we have the ISO we can just um, we need some packages so first one we will use this wimlib from pacman I'm using Arch Linux if I can show you yeah if you are using ubuntu and uh, ubuntu based uh, distributions then it will be a little different so yeah just uh if you are on arch linux yes, it will be easy so just follow this sudo pacman dash s we need the wimlib and we'll press y enter it will install then we will uh, get um we will get the wo usb you can uh, use this y you can use ea yeah dash s it will uh, it will fetch the wo usb from aur wo usb we need this this one this first one so we'll press one we'll press enter and we'll press enter again we'll press enter again and it should start building and it is installed so you can uh, use ea or you can just do this you just uh, go to aur arch linux and then search for go usb here and we will use this one we'll just uh, copy this link and we'll get clone we'll just get clone and we'll just uh, get into the directory ls what we'll do is we'll make pkg dash si and it should start building yeah it has also, also installed it so now if you type uh, let me just clear the terminal if you type o usb it will pop, pop up so dash dash help yeah so as uh, we can see that it is working so what we need to do is uh, we will go to downloads and if i show if i can show you the path it is just downloads here so uh will ls um as you can see we have the windows 10 iso so what we'll do is we will uh, pop up uh, we'll pop in our usb drive so let me just uh, plug in my drive and it has shown shown uh, it, it has popped up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we need another uh, package for that which we'll get from pacman that is gnome disk utility and um yeah i forgot dashes and we will install this uh, this too so 
after that after installing uh, this we will just search for disks this uh, disks we will go here and what we are gonna do is yeah wait 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 so we are gonna remove everything there is actually nothing so I just will let it be so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sudo in downloads in downloads we're gonna sudo usb dash device then we'll uh, specify the windows 10 this one it is under this downloads and then we'll uh, uh, check for the drive where is our drive we'll check it so can see it is under dash uh, slash dev slash hdb so what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify it here slash dev slash hdb and uh, we just need to press enter and it will start creating just don't press anything we'll just let it finish um yeah it will take some time to finish so I'll not cut the video I'll just let it run so you know how much time it takes and uh, if there is any error or not yeah you, you might skip this part if you st um, you don't want to wait so I'll just uh, let it run and uh, I think it will take a lot of time Yeah, let me just uh, pause the OBS and I'll uh, come, ba come back when it's done. Yeah, okay, so uh, the process is near its end. So I'm it's around 92%. So it won't take uh, long now. Um, so basically, we'll just use a command line tool. We don't need uh, to use any gui tools i just a uh, simple a uh, one line command and it will just uh, do the job so now we can see the um we can see uh that we are on we are uh, just 99 percent we are at 99 percent so yeah, it will just uh, do some finishing and it will it will just um create the bootable drive so yeah it is installing grub yeah so make sure you have uh, um you have almost an 8 gb uh, at least an 8 gb um flash drive or pen drive so if you have less than that it won't work um it will uh, it will take around 5.5 .5 gb um of space in your pen drive or flash drive so you need to have that much storage so maximum uh, minimum i recommend is 8 gb um anything under that will might uh, might have issue might have might create issues for you so just um finish in touch uh if you have a faster um flash drive it will take less time um, the read speed uh, is quite low for me yeah it is saying the installation is done and i can uh, remove the drive so what you can do is i can just remove the drive now and i'll just plug it back in to see the partitions yeah now if you if on uh, no, just if we go to this drive you can see we have the um actual uh, windows 10 setup here so what you need to do is just uh, power off and uh, just plug the usb and uh, uh, just to boot into windows 10 installation yeah so that's that's it and that's how you create a bootable drive and from linux uh, if you want to switch to windows 
so it's really easy there is nothing much you need so that's it thank you